गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस पॉइंट केयर बार्टेड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर्मूला दिस फॉर्मूला विल बी यूज इन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ कोशी टाइप सिंगुलर इंटीग्रल इक्वेशन नाउ दिस फॉर्मूला स्टेट स्टार्ट फॉर अ फंक्शन जी विच इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी फॉर दिस फंक्शन विच इज होल्डर कॉन्टीन्यूस फंक्शन एंड एल इज क्लोज कंट्रोल देन वन अपॉन टू पाई आयोटा होल स्केयर इंटीग्रल ओवर एल स्टार वन अपॉन टॉवन माइनस टॉ जी टॉवन इंटीग्रल ओवर एल स्टार जी टॉ अपॉन टॉ माइनस टॉवन डी टॉ दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्थ ऑफ जी टी This formula is called Poincare Pattern Transformation Formula. In order to prove this formula, let us define two singular integrals. First integral we have denoted by g1, g1 t, which is one upon two pi iota integral over l star g tau upon tau minus t d tau. Second singular integral. g2 t टी गिवन बाई वन अपॉन टू पाई आयोटा इंटीग्रल ओवर एल स्टार जी वन टॉ डिवाइडेड बाई टॉ माइनस टी डी टॉ हेयर द फंक्शंस जी जी एंड जी वन दीज आर होल्डर कॉन्टीन्यूस फंक्शंस एंड दिस एल इज क्लोज कंट्रोल नाउ लेट एस ऑप्टेन एन इंटीग्रल कनेक्टिंग द फंक्शंस जी टू and the function g in order to do this let us consider two cauchy type integrals the first cauchy type integral we have considered f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l g tau divided by tau minus z d tau and second cauchy type integral we have considered f1 z is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l g1 tau divided by tau minus z d tau now we can use plamis formulas which we already discussed which are related to the boundary value of a function inside a, a closed contour l and outside a closed contour l so we will use plamis formula corresponding to the function f and the function f1 so using plamis formula the first boundary value which is denoted by f plus this is given by half gt plus 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star g tau divided by tau minus t d tau and the boundary value corresponding to the function f1 that is given by f1 plus is equal to half of g1 t plus 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star g1 tau divided by tau minus t d tau now from these two equations we can shift the term half gt on the left side so finally these two equations will become f plus minus half gt is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star g tau divided by tau minus t d tau and from the second equation shifting the term half gt to the left side that will become f1 plus minus half g1t is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star g1 tau divided by tau minus t d tau now we can compare the equations e and i by comparing the equations e and i we get g1t is equal to because in the equation e this value is on the right side and in the equation i also because the right hand sides are same so the left hand sides will also be same in the equation e the left side is g1t and the equation i the left hand side is f plus minus half gt so finally we have obtained g1t is equal to f plus minus half gt in the same way comparing the equations f and j we have the value g2t is equal to f1 plus 
minus half g1 t. Now we can combine the equation k and the equation h. From there, uh, substituting the value of g1 tau there in the equation uh, h, we get f1 z is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral the value of g1 tau that is from here by replacing t by tau so we get f plus tau minus half g tau and divided by tau minus z d tau and now f1 z is equal to separating the two integrals we get f1 z is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l f plus divided by tau minus z t tau minus 1 upon 4 pi iota integral over the contour l g tau divided by tau minus z d tau. Now the first integral on the right hand side of this equation that is the function f because its density which is denoted by f plus that is the limiting value of the function f and the function f is regular inside the contour l so we can use Cauchy integral formula. So according to Cauchy integral formula, the value of function f is given by 1 upon 2 pi iota integral f plus divided by tau minus z d tau. Now the second integral on the right side that is half of f z. So substituting these values in the equation m, equation m becomes f1 tau is equal to half of fz because these two functions are same so their limiting values will also be same so let us take z approaches to t from inside so as z approaches to t from inside the limiting value of this function that will become f1 plus t and on the uh, on the right side the limiting value that will become 1 by 2 f plus t. Now we can substitute the values in the equation L. Substituting the values in the equation L that will become g2 t is equal to the value uh, of f1 plus that is half of f plus t minus half the value of g1 t. The value of g1 t is f plus t minus half g t. From here these two terms are cancelled out and we get the value of g2t is equal to 1 by 4 times gt. Now from the equation f we have g2t is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star g1 tau 1 divided by tau 1 minus tau d tau 1 and from the equation e the value of g1 tau 1 is given by 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star g tau divided by tau minus tau 1 d tau. Now we can put the value of g1 tau 1 from this equation into the above equation. Here substituting the value of g1 tau 1 this will become g2t is equal to 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star 1 upon tau 1 minus t and here we have substituted the value of g1 tau 1 which is 1 upon 2 pi iota integral over l star g tau divided by tau minus tau 1 d tau and this integral is with respect to tau 1. Now from this equation and the equation t we have obtained the formula 1 upon 2 pi iota whole square integral over L star 1 upon tau 1 minus t d tau 1 into the integral over L star g tau divided by tau minus tau 1 d tau is equal to 1 by 4 g t and this expression is called Poincare bar trend transformation formula and Tomorrow we will do the solution of Cauchy type singular integral equations and then we will use this formula there. So you will have to prove this formula uh, in order to find the solution of Cauchy.
कोशी टाइप सिंगुलर इंटीग्रल इक्वेशंस